Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Ha ha. Okay, Christ to the masses. Uh oh, Mac gonna go in. Mac gonna go in. Who he's gonna go in with? He's going in with Rudolph. Yes, Mac gonna talk about Rudolph. And the topic of the message is I love this message. You know, I don't, the reality of I don't care about the world's reindeer games. I don't care about the world's reindeer games. Now, watch this, you know, y'all y'all know where I'm going? Okay, check this out. Y'all know the song, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeers had a very shiny nose, you know? Shiny nose. Wait a minute. Jesus told us that we are supposed to be the light of the world. Jesus, the scripture says in Matthew 5, 16, that we're supposed to let our light shine. For our father, you know what I'm saying? So let our light shine. You know what I'm saying? We got his nose like Rudolph. You know what I'm saying? Do I have any Rudolphs up in here? You know what I'm saying? I, okay. Um, Rudolph the red nose name is because his blood, you know, the blood, the red blood that washes white as snow got us shining our nose. And, you know, we're shining the light of Christ and, you know, and represent him to the fullest, you know, to the utmost way, giving him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise each and every day. And, you know, we don't care about what the world says, you know, kind of Christians that don't, you know, that on that mission is going to war for his Lord, you know, all 199 and a half won't do kind of Rudolph Christians where you are, Rudolph Christians. All right. Um. Yeah, we're talking about those Rudolphs, okay? So they said, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw, if you ever saw the light, if you ever saw the light of the love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, faith, shining from out of him, you will say it glows. They, the remix says, like a light bulb. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be, the light of earth. But watch this. All of the worldly reindeers, you know, used to laugh and call us names like Jesus Freak, you know, Holy Rollers or whatever they got, you know, for us, whatever, Max a Jesus Freak to the crown of his head, to the sole of his feet, giving God all the glory because I rule and reign in victory kind of person. So, hey, pick at me, Mac don't really care, but uh, you calling him names, he doesn't care about you calling him names because, you know, uh, you're in darkness. Uh, how can the darkness see the light? John John 1 says, you can't comprehend the light, darkness, people of darkness. Now, it says all of the other rangers used to laugh and call his name. They, now watch this. They would never let poor Rudolph join in the reindeer games. Now, let's stop there. Yes, the reindeer games. Now, the world reindeer games. Okay, what is the world reindeer games? Well, um, the thing is, well, John, uh, Paul says, you know, told us to uh, be not conformed to this world, but he said, be transformed by the renewing of our mind that we come forth and have the mind of Christ, that the mind of Christ is supposed to give us, make us shine, shine that red light bulb of the blood of Jesus Christ that washed away our sins. We're supposed to be on that mission to be all about that. We're not supposed to be caring about the world's reindeer games. Now, the world's reindeer games is about, of course, you know, engaging with the lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Fooling around, you know, fornication and all that kind of stuff. Manipulation, getting drunk, getting high, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to play reindeer games. You know what I'm saying? Because reindeer games, you know, we know uh, Rome, uh, Paul says Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. You know what I'm saying? We are about the gift of God, that eternal life through Jesus Christ. You know, and I ain't even talked about Santa yet, but we're going to leave that alone. But we're about the gift of God that's eternal life. But I, I might go there right there, but uh, at the end of this message. But the thing is, we're not supposed to be about these reindeer games. You know what I'm saying? That trying to be better than everybody, you know, trying to be popular, you know. Uh, trying to uh, please pleaser, pleasers of men according to Galatians 1 and 10 we're not supposed to please men we're supposed to be pleasers a servant of God is not supposed to be pleasing men you know uh, that we're not supposed to join the reindeer games thinking that we have to uh, uh, be 
popular towards you to get you to draw. We draw you by our examples of being the light, you know, the Rudolph light, you know, shine bright, the word of God, shine bright, the light of truth to you. That's what is supposed to attract you and draw you to Jesus because Jesus said, if I be lifted up I, and he is the light of the world, he will draw all men unto me. So we just shine the light in our nose like that and you draw to the light of his truth not the light of his lies but the light of his truth and you be a part of this but uh we don't but we're not going to go out there and play reindeer games but if christians if y'all out there playing that reindeer games you're not supposed to be out there because you're rudolph you shine your light you know you know you're not supposed to play games with because we are if you're a christian you are listed for war we're here for war. We're here for war purposes. We're here to war against the principalities and the powers. First, war against our flesh. Of course, war against our flesh. And then, war against the principalities and the powers, the rules of darkness and spiritual weakness in high places. Is what we're supposed to be all about when we're, we'll be in the true Rudolph. Now, watch this. Uh, but it says, one day foggy Christmas Eve, uh-oh, when things get ugly, when problems and situations and circumstances are overwhelming people's lives or uh, uh, stopping, you know, uh, promises from happening, stopping people from, uh, danger happens, you know what I'm saying? Extreme situations and circumstances and obstacles come in your life, you know, oh, one foggy Christmas Eve, guess what? Santa, Santa needed to get some gifts out. Santa needs to get now. I'm finna use Santa as a, you know, example of, you know, uh, uh, a, a, a president or somebody, a king or something. See, Santa ain't gonna look for nobody that's playing reindeer games. Santa, Santa is not gonna, in this situation when everything get crazy, you know, like, you know, terrorist attack happen in the world, you know, uh, bad things, calamity terrible things happen what people do they pray they pray and ask God you know to they ask or Christians to help the situation out they ask Rudolph with their nose so bright can you you know fly to slay slay tonight can, can y'all Christians pray for us because we're going through situations and circumstances in our life because you know they they and you know they want not bite you to rain their games you know but we didn't care less to go about going to your reindeer games. But the thing is, uh, they, they uh, asked the Christians, asked the churches to pray for the situation when bad calamity things happen in life. And then we come through, represent, you know, Jesus Christ on the utmost way. We'll get in front and then we deliver the gifts. We deliver it we, because we've been delivered by the blood of Jesus. We can help deliver gifts. We can help deliver people and give the gift of God's love and give the gift of God's joy in the midst of difficult situations, in the midst of the um, foggy Christmas Eve when the blizzard is being turned up, the um, the light get shine brighter, you know, when it we're tested and tried and tested, you know what I'm saying, the Christians rise up, you know, when it's time to play and we come and we represent Christ on the utmost way and then things get done, things get done the way it's supposed to get done, that's what Rudolphs do, you know what I'm saying, but guess what, the reason why Rudolph, Rudolphs can do that, they don't play reindeer games, they don't play games, in the worldly, fleshly games, because they're all about Jesus Christ to the utmost way because he gave us the light to shine bright and represent them to the utmost way. That's what we do as Rudolphs. So that's the topic of the message. I hope you like my Rudolph Red Nose Reindeers. And I hope this encourages you to not to play no reindeer games. All right? Like the world. All right? That's the message. God be the glory. And forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.